Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. So now I'm going to review the car. Its name, Naza Kia Forte. So I don't know you guys heard before this brand, this car. Which this car is Naza Kia, Naza Automotive Manufacturing. Bring in this car to rebadge it as Naza Forte. So in other country they call it as K3. Serato in Singapore market they call it the Kia Forte. So this car is pretty beautiful. I like the design of this car. So let's start around the walk. Let's start the walk around video. So this is the Kia Naza Kia Forte SX. So let's start with the the front. So start with the light. These lights are halogen bulbs, so they are very old school, but it's very cheap to op to maintain when it broke. And here is the NASA badge because they rebadged the Kia Forte, so they must put the Kia because that time Kia never bring this. So this car now is Kia Serato. They changed the name. So this is the halogen spot uh, fog lamps and this uh, LED. I think it's aftermarket. I'm not sure. And we got the fake vents. Grill has chrome. The Kia's home design. Okay, this car eventually come with the body kit. All through, in the low spec version, it doesn't came with that, so it will be like this. I will put the picture up there, so you will see this. This rim are not the original one, so I will put a picture up there. Is the original one okay? So these tires are the sports tire that are put aftermarket. So these tires are. 215-45R17 tires fitted with Dextero tires sorry about the car doesn't wash before recording so it does come with killer sentry and chrome door handle and signal at the signal indicator at the side mirrors this is what's the standard features for this car And behind, it uses halogen brake lights, halogen signal indicator, and halogen uh, reverse light. Forte badge and the SX badge just gone. And the sensors are standard across the range. And you got the exhaust pipe. And I pretty like this spoiler right here. It will maintain the sportiness of this car. This car is fitted with the 2 liter naturally aspirated engine. So this is the exterior tour of this car. Sorry to tell about this suspension and the brakes. So this car come with, uh, um, I don't know what is. I think it's McPherson struts and the multi link setup at the behind. I'm not sure if who know. I'm oh, sorry. Wait. If who knows what the suspension I have used for this car for there, please comment down below. And here we got the this brake. I don't know what it's called because they got so many holes to like to reduce the temperature when it breaks to overheat and the behind they uses the solid disc. Now we need to take a tour inside the car. So this is the key. So like I said this is a keyless entry car so just put your key inside the pocket right here. 
and then you just press the button okay it will open okay okay this seat does come with full manual adjustment so this adjusts your seat height this adjusts your seat reclination and this bar right here adjusts your seat position and this is opens the fuel the boot lid and this opens the fuel lid okay. Here's So now I'm gonna start the car. Put your foot in the brake and press the start button. Okay. Okay, so this car does come with electronic power steering instead of the MyV that uses a hydraulic power steering. So that one will cheat to maintain and this one will be okay. So we got an electronic park uh, window. All the window doesn't come with the automatic down or up function. And this adjusts your mirror control. Okay. So this is the dash. This is the aftermarket screen. So the car uh, eventually come with the radio player. So this is the emergency signal light. And the right stop, this is the light and fog light. And the left stop is the wiper control. Okay, and the trip meter is here. Average fuel consumption, elapsed time. Okay, the air temp uh, water temperature is here. This is fuel gauge, meter cluster, and the ref cluster. So, this is the air conditioner unit, recirculation modes, fan speed, front defrost. Automatic icons, icon off. This does come with the armrest. Mirror does come with the light. This does come with the sunglass holder. And traction control off the lights, the brightness of the cluster. And there's a door pocket right here and the cup holders. This car eventually got many cuppy spaces so that you can put many things. So in my opinion, this car is a very nice and practical car. And automatic dimming mirror sorry S stop because my phone is running out of space on so now let's continue okay this is the multi function steering wheel this control your volume button mode mute this because it changed this so this doesn't work if this is the radio, this can control many the the volume that like that. This the uh, uh, cruise control. Oh yeah, okay. Let's turn off the car and continue the rest of the tour.
So this is their uh, leather seat. They come with red stitching to maintain the sportiness of the car. Okay. So the front seat is adjusted very back. I'm 150 centimeter and above. So I get this much of head uh, leg room. And this much of the headroom. So, in my opinion, this car is quite spacious in the in its class, and it does come with the armrest. Yeah, it's pretty good. Okay, so it got two seat belts, and the center one is like this, and with some hook here. Let's take a look at the boot space. Actually, the boots looks quite big though. Oh, and this this doesn't come. This is aftermarket thing. And you open this, you will get the space saver full size. It's space saver. Mm, no, this is full size spare tire. Sorry. And if you pull this, you will be able to put down the front seat. Wait, huh? Okay, let's go in front. Wait, something wrong. Oh, I think the strap have been has been broke because I pulled. It can't go out. I'll figure it out later. If you can. Okay, again. This passenger seat does come with full menu adjustment. Except the... Uh, seat height it came with the seat reclination and the seat position and this car have six speakers here here there there and there behind there okay again the safety feature this car does come with ESP EPS and six airbags and more I don't know this kind of high tech thing So this is a glove box. This glove box is quite big though. And some cup holders here, copy spaces. Yeah, that's all. Okay, this is the interior tour of the Kia Forte. So now, we're gonna test the boot space of the Kia Forte. So, uh, I don't need to go back because you press and hold the key right here. Ah, the boot will open itself. It's quite good, this feature. Okay, so start with this. The boot lid is not very tall. It's very deep so I can put many things inside. Mm. Get got more extra space. So this boot space conclusion, it can put like five people luggage like this size, and some small bags right here and some food is enough. So it's pretty good and practical car in my opinion.
Okay. So, conclusion. This Kia Forte comes with many of the practical specification and some pretty nice coffee faces and this guy is so practical. So in my opinion, if you want to find the used cars, uh, sedan cars, I think this car I will recommend it because now I think the price is about uh, 30,000 ringgit to 40,000 ringgit. So thank you guys. Chill.